Listen, Phoenix, when KD made that layup, it was a two point game, and the timeout was called with 7.4 seconds on the clock. All five Suns were away from their basket by the time the clock hit 10 seconds, including the two players who you would expect to make a game winning three pointer. Devin Booker and Kevin Durant were all the way back here. Look, look where they were standing. So even if the ref didn't give LeBron that timeout, Devin Booker or Kevin Durant would have had to run all the way down the court and either get two points, which would tie the game but take longer since they had to run right past the three point line, or chuck up a bomb from half court yeah it's a little closer save a little time and it would have been the greatest shot in the tournament if it happened and went in but what are the odds of that austin reeves had already sealed the game with a dagger before kd even made the layup it was over kevin durant wasn't even as mad as his coach after the game because he said the game is 48 minutes not just one call and not to mention kd did get a shot at the end of the game to tie it without having to shoot it from half court he made it to the three-point line but tory and press was wearing this man like a glove so it wasn't nothing they could do anyway the game was over. Yeah, I'll admit, the ball did not appear to be in the possession of the Lakers whenever LeBron called the timeout. And yeah, okay, he was at home. I can buy that the Los Angeles referees will be on LeBron's side. Cool. But we've also seen them completely not on his side. So I'm not going to act like this timeout had a real effect on the game other than the fact that it's trending still the next day. And I predicted the Lakers was going to win, damn it. Don't try to take my W. Yeah, the refs cheated. Yep, they some lying, cheating bastards. But the Suns might have won if Bradley B was playing or more likely they would have just lost by a bigger margin but who knows i know that the pelicans have no chance against the lakers in this next game both ad and lebron were listed as questionable before this Suns game we knew there was no way they was missing this game and there's definitely no way they're missing the next one and of course they had to prove that the Suns might have firepower but every team has firepower in 2023 paces versus the Suns right now who will win you see how a question like that that would have been extremely easy to answer at any time in the last 10 years is now completely difficult who you got in seven games It'll never happen in real life, but the Suns versus the Pacers in seven games. Who will win? And see, that's just another reason I don't and will never trust the Suns. But before I end this video, can we get Austin Reeves paid? He's in the first year of his four-year contract, and yeah, $12 million a year, he's making more than LaMelo Ball and Malik Monk. Wait what all right never mind let's get malik monk paid this is the last year on his contract and james wiseman is making almost three million dollars more a year than him but okay we know the kings are going to extend him or at least they should but the next round man is coming up the bucks managed to succeed where the celtics just disappointed i don't know what's wrong with them after halftime, they just ran out of gas, and the entire starting five of the Celtics were in the negative plus minus department, meaning they all contributed to their own failure against the Pacers. Whereas statistically, they made Indiana look like the 2016 Golden State Warriors. They shot nearly 50% from three and the field against Boston, and Boston also had 11 more turnovers than the Pacers. And it's crazy, I know a lot of people in Indiana who would have definitely rather watch college sports than the NBA in the past because of how trash India has been, but acquiring Tyrese Halliburton and Buddy Hill was the best move Indiana the anime since they drafted Paul George in 2010.